was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Oh, Carly girl, we already knew you was lying. We just trying to see when they gonna come lock you up. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Hear the music. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. Drop it for your guy, for your B-O-Y Do it for your guy, for your B-O-Y Come on, baby, we love What's up, guys? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, back with a quick little joke. And we about to joke Carly Russell, girl. Now, I know when I came out here the first time, when we discussed this, I said it don't look right. Something in the milk ain't clean. It's looking fishy. The story don't add up. You know what I'm saying? And when I was telling that to other people and looking at the comments on Twitter and Instagram, they was dragging me saying I'm anti-woman, anti-black and all of that but I'm not anti-woman nor anti-black because I'm a black woman number one and then number two sometimes I can think logically and freely for myself and realize this don't make no sense just like with Jesse Smollett it didn't make sense and I was the first one to say something ain't right and guess what I was right so again I don't group think let's just start by saying that I am a person who independently thinks always have been since a little girl uh, and yeah, it has gotten me further in life. I'll just say that. But nevertheless, we're here because Carly Russell has finally uh, sent out a um, a letter through her attorney. Uh, the police been trying to meet with Carly, but Carly said she got other things to do and bigger fish to fry. Now, allegedly, they said she had a birthday party and we're going to get to that. But um, yeah, she uh, decides to just send a letter through her attorney um, asking us to pray for her and just admitting that basically it all was a hoax. I knew it when she described the doggone white guy who touched her as a clown. Let me let y'all hear this doggone thing and I'm gonna come back with more commentary because this is just ridiculous. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. We helped you determine where Carly was during the 49 hours of her disappearance. Today I have talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Carly to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community, the volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, asks for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed. Now, as I said the other day, was talking facts and everything. If I said anything today, it would just be speculation. Actual facts, we do not. I wish I could tell you. I think only uh, Carly knows and maybe her attorney now, but uh, again, the statement that we received from him does not indicate any. For the GMWRC, can you give us an idea of what charges you may be filing against her? 
No, that would strictly be up to the district attorney's office. David Lamb, CBS 42. Can you uh, update us so that there is a meeting scheduled for this afternoon with the family? Or, or no. when is that meeting? Yeah. Place no, not uh, a meeting with the attorney, not the family or Carly. We have a meeting scheduled with the attorney, and that will take place some point tomorrow. And there is no meeting with Carly Russell or her family at this point? Not scheduled, no, sir. Well, again, we want to uh, talk to uh, talk to Mr. Anthony tomorrow and uh, and see if he has any uh, any more to discuss about uh, about the case. Uh, we'll certainly be asking if uh, if we'll get an opportunity to uh, again interview uh, Carly like we've wanted to since uh, since she returned. Chief Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340. Yes. Sir. Your reaction now, knowing that Carly has admitted that this was made up. Well, I'm I'm glad that we got this. You know, we uh, we certainly laid the facts out to, to the to the to the you know to, to you guys and and to the national uh, media that had a lot of interest in this particular case. Uh, uh, the the sad thing is that uh, again there were so many people that uh, that were involved, uh, took this thing very very seriously, and uh, and again. We wanted the focus to be bring her home. She got home. We're very excited about that. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the facts, I think, last uh, Wednesday uh, pretty much showed that uh, we knew that it was, uh, it was a hoax. Lisa Graham, WBTM 13. Do you know the expense you went to during this search and how much it was? Well, it was, uh, it was all hands on deck, and, uh, and we don't have a dollar figure yet. But, uh, uh, we're, we're certainly working uh, towards getting one, and not only ours, but there'll be uh, there'll be other agencies that uh, that had a lot of uh, a lot of support that they gave us, and had monetary expenses themselves. Jonathan, uh, John, with JLR investigates, are the parents under any investigation? You know, as I said the other day, uh, we were going to try to determine exactly those 49 hours. So right now, you know, and anything's on the table. We're, we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours, where she was, did she have any help? We have no idea. You know, I read the statement from Mr. Anthony, that's all we know. Right. Chief, Chief Mims, uh, uh, WAGG 1617, uh, Chief, let me ask you this. What do you think prompted or provoked Carly to uh, do this kind of thing? And uh, are there any kind of mental issues that, you know, not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, this is a very elaborate, this was an elaborate deal. I mean, when you talk about calling a 911 and, and, and being up on the interstate, uh, uh, again, it would all be conjecture. Uh, so really, uh, I don't know. I was hoping that we'd have an opportunity to interview and we'd be able to ask, ask her those questions. Were any others involved in putting this story together for her? Uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, in his statement, says there was not. No, they did not. Right here. Uh, Aaron Lou Lovin, WBT 13. Um, just for clarification, Carly Russell is not in custody right now. That is correct. That is correct. Last question with David. David Lamb, once again. So, first of all, when did you actually see this letter? And, and second of all, do these admissions and the content of the letter alter the investigation at all? No, not at all. Uh, we'll continue to investigate. We're still trying to determine where those where she was those, during those 49 hours. But uh, I am glad that we received this. It, it at least puts uh, puts some of the social media super sleuths uh, hopefully at rest for a little bit as far as uh, what everyone, the conjecture of what everybody thinks took place. Uh, we know that uh, that uh, by her own admission, it didn't happen. And, uh, you know, we're thankful for that. Okay, so now this is what we know. Uh, number one, the police were trying to have a conversation with her to sit down and investigate. And as of yet, Carly has yet to sit down with them because uh, I don't know why. Maybe she's smart enough to not just say anything else. But you kind of did when you sent the doggone letter or, or message or whatever the case may be. But she has yet to sit down with the law enforcement. And they are ready to sit down with her. They, I don't know if y'all realized it at the very beginning of this. They said this is still an ongoing investigation, which means, Carly, you ain't out the water yet they even said it at the end of the doggone video that they will keep us informed if charges are pressed uh when and if so that means it's a very good possibility if you ask me i think these people knew all along that carly was bs and maybe not originally originally but once the story came out and she came home i believe they knew all along that this was some bs the question i want to know is do her mammy have something to do with it 
That's what I want to know because the mammy look a little throwed off. Now, the daddy was smart enough to not say nothing. And I guess that's what that would be why uh, he he's doing very well successfully in his, uh, I guess, life or whatever, in his career and all of that. Because he was smart enough to just shut it up. And it's giving me the man who married the slow chick because she got pregnant and he wanted to be a good father. That's what it's giving me. But anyways, um... I believe Carly should go to prison. <laughs> I know prison might sound rough. I mean, she need to go to jail. She need to do some jail time. She needs to volunteer at um, shelters. She needs to go see and hear what real stories are like. She seems like she's a spoiled brat. She seems like she just does what she want to do. And her mama and her daddy, her mammy and her pappy just cleans it up. And girl, we not doing that. And we not doing that. And I don't care if she black. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Everything ain't always about race. And see, this is another thing I want to say about that too. I noticed that when it comes to black people holding other black people account- accountable, typically the black response is, oh, well, um, they ain't do that to the other white people. Oh, they don't hold this white person accountable. Why Why does that matter? I'm. Can somebody out there in La La Land tell me why that matters? Because it doesn't. What matters is, Carly Russell was wrong. Carly Russell lied. Carly Russell used police resources, secret service resources, all the the people that sent her money through the GoFundMe and all of that stuff. And we still don't know what's going on because she lied. She lied and she should be charged for that. She should be held accountable for that. We have to stop in the black community feeling like, oh, holding each other accountable is somehow anti-black. Because we celebrate the degeneracy in, the, in our neighborhoods and in our community, such as the, the drill rap and the Sukianas and, and all these girls who just out there, you know, showing cooch for the world and booty hole brown and all of that. Y'all want to y'all wanna say, let them live and let them be them. But when it comes to us holding other uh, black people accountable for things that they're doing wrong, whether it's in or outside of our community, everybody all up in arms. Y'all was talking real tough with your chest on um, TikTok about this, and I ain't like it. But <laughs> who got the last laugh? Because I don't group think. I don't think in a herd. I don't just let, if the majority of people say this, 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 and this, I'm not about to just jump up, pop out, and be like, yeah, I'm with them. No, I need to independently think, do my own research, have my own thoughts. You know, a lot of people should try it. And I know some people did. I know there's a lot of people in my comments that was just like, yeah, it sounds fishy. But when I went to these larger channels or even on Twitter, like they was like really bashing people because people had a difference of opinion. And this is another thing we have to understand, too, as as black women. We have to stop identifying with others pain and putting it onto us. We basically know that there are black women who go missing all the time. We know this and we know that they don't get the coverage nor the, the resources that Carly Russell got. But Carly Russell comes along and get this dog on resources and this attention, and it's all a hoax. That's even more reason why we should hold Carly Russell accountable. You get it? Because we can't just automatically assume that because she's a black woman, believe all black women. No, I would never say believe all black women, and I would never say believe all black men, because I would never say believe all of nobody. I would say do your independent research and, and go from there. The only people I believe automatically, without a doubt, without question, are children. If you are not a child who is defenseless against an adult, I, I don't believe just anybody. But nevertheless, girl, because this is not even going to be a lengthy video because it's just basically a I told you so. But anyways, so while all that was happening or right before the press conference, it came out that Carly Russell had a birthday. Now, he had said that there was a rumor that Carly Russell uh, had a birthday party thrown at her home by her mama, by her mammy and her pappy. This is the pictures that they said it is. I don't know this to be fact. I'm just telling you what they said. This is all alleged because they said, but they said the girl had a birthday party the day before all of this press conference and all of that. And this is supposed to be the video of the people lined up at the house to go to the birthday party. Now listen, if Carly Russell was my cousin, I'd have went to the party. I ain't gonna lie. I would have went, but I would have been saying, girl, what the hell going on? What did you do? What happened? What happened? That's what I would have been saying. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, I guess her and her family just went on about life like nothing happened, child. I guess everybody just went on about their life like nothing happened. But listen, I really do hope the uh, police 
basically charge her with something i do uh i don't want to I, i'm not buying into oh i don't want to see another black woman in jail no some black people need to go to jail women and men and that's just that i know it's not a good place for everybody to go i don't think it's a good place for people to go period but when you do animalistic things and you do weird horrible things and you do bad things period uh you deserve a punishment and that's just what it is and i think if she has a mental issue they need to put her ass up there in a straight jacket somewhere and let her sit there for at least 60 to 90 days straight no chase you know what i'm saying that's what i feel but that's just my thoughts on carly russell listen i know it sounds harsh uh, but sometimes tough love is a thing. See, in 2023, we don't we don't know nothing about tough love no more. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is oh woo 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 woo. You know how Sinclair used to be on um, Living Single. This ain't that. This ain't that. That ain't this. Sometimes tough love is needed, and she definitely needs some tough love because I just think she's spoiled. To be honest, I don't think there's nothing wrong. I think she's spoiled. I think that uh, if the boy had something to do with it, you know what I'm saying? I believe that, you know, she was trying to get back at him because they said she unblocked him as soon as the dog on, as soon as she went missing or whatever. And then he withdrew his support and all of this. Girl, it's just messy and it's tired and it's through. And I hope they find out if her mammy and her peppy knew something about it. Now, do I think they knew something about it at the very onset? No. But I believe when they got that call from the Red Roof Inn or when they when she came home, somehow, some way, they got the real tease. That's how they was able to get her this lawyer, child. That's what I believe. But anyway, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on TikTok. I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. See you oh, in Jackson, jail, Let me bitch. tell you something. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? That nigga you just had up here.